Hey, chat. Uh, we're gonna have a pretty kind of a relaxed day today. Nothing too crazy. Um. <laughs> they kicked him out of his spaceship. They 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 were low. They were they were you know. Uh, I lost my whole train of thought there. Uh, I'm having a kind of a <laughs> yeah, his SpaceX flight. <laughs> they kicked him out. I'm having kind of a bad day today. So we're gonna have kind of a chill day today. Um. We were going to get directly into, um, also hello, hello Madraw, welcome in, welcome in, appreciate you being here, I know, I know it probably won't be for too long, you got your reading to do soon, oh did we, oh that was weird, but I appreciate you being here for as long as you are, uh, hi Hodor, yes, uh, we're going to do a bit of Genshin real quick, um, so I can do my dailies, and then we're going to get into, um, Um, I, I, feel, I feel like my character is just like leaning, just leaning. I don't think he is. Hey, here, let me, let me default it right quick. Nah, he's not leaning. It's just me. I'm leaning. I'm the leaning. I'm the, hi Hodor. Yes. Hello. Um, we're going to get the dailies done first and then get right on into Tactics Ogre right after that. Um, like I was saying the other day, uh, Madral, uh, I'm probably going to change your element to uh, fire from um, lightning because every character I have is lightning <laughs> and I need a bit of variety. <clears throat> so uh, let me get my monitor sorted out here. Maybe. There we go, there we go. Boom boom. Resize everything because it always fucks up sometimes. Also, my chat, my chat is like horribly um lagged out. I don't know what's going on there. In OBS anyway. Maybe not on dashboard, I don't know. Also, uh we we got a follow yesterday uh, after my raid. So if you happen to be watching the VOD, Jero the Stoner, thank you very much for that. Really appreciate that. Anyway, let's uh, initiate Genshin mode and then <clears throat> drag myself over here. And uh, music mode, music time, bam. We're going to try not to spend too long on getting these dailies done, but we do want to... Oh, hey. We do want to get them done, <laughs> but I, I might get uh, awfully, awfully distracted like I just did with a vantage point. All right, give me just a second here. I'm not sure. Is my volume thing working? No, it's not. Interesting. All right, there we go. All right, just before we head out, is there anything else I need to grab over here? It's got my attention. Um, not. Particularly. All right. Let's go grab those dailies, huh? Oh, we got a cat one, I think. The cat one's always... I don't know. They can be boring. 
Like this one is literally, they want me to uh, clean up leaves. So I gotta use um, Animo to, uh, yes, come on, please. I got it. <laughs> I really wish they would let you just automatically skip all that dialogue on a new on quest you've done before. So frustrating. Alright, that's three down and here we go. Now we're done. That, that was a quick daily. <laughs> I wonder why it's making me lean. I don't, that's a weird, it hasn't done that before. Really, um, you can fish in this game, but I, I'm quite glad I don't have to do that anymore. Um, it was for a specific weapon, a really good weapon, but for a specific weapon. And um, it took a long time to get it done because of how, how fishing works in this game. Got an escort mission here. We got to make sure that our balloon here doesn't die. Pretty simple to do. These dailies really just aren't difficult. At least not for me anymore. Maybe they used to be, I don't remember. But particularly not with this uh, party makeup. They are not a problem at all. And like I was saying the other day, um, when we go do our dungeons, we will actually be doing the one for um, the artifacts for Sucrose. We're going to be trying those out for a little bit. Which Sucrose ones are good because they're also good for um, Venti, which is another unit that I really like using. His, his ultimate is ridiculously good. And often when I'm playing uh, multiplayer stuff, Venti is who I'll bring just because of how much support utility he has. All right, there we go. Easy enough, easy enough. Let's grab these right here right quick. Yeah. A little bit of food items. Don't remember what this quest will be. Some of this, they, they did seem to add some new quests too. So, you know, some of these things um, are fresh for me. Um, we will also be, uh, starting, like I've said, uh, uh, for Spoken tomorrow. And hopefully, uh, <laughs> the game is an absolute garbage. It looks really pretty. I've heard very bad things about the, the story, um, and the dialogue in the game, but, uh, visually it looks stunning. So, um... I'm looking forward to it. <clears throat> I need to make sure I actually can install that though. <laughs> Free up some space on my PS5. I really 
need to uh, get a new, um, not a new, a M.2 at all for my PS5. So I can have some more space. I do have an eight terabyte external hard drive for it, but uh, which is the largest external hard drive you can have for that. However, um, it can only do PS4 games on it. Hey, Zenith, welcome in. Um, most of the bad things you heard uh, come from who have very troubling gamers' perspectives. I no, I, I I've heard from a lot of various places that the dialogue in the game is absolutely garbage. <laughs> That's all I've ever actually heard about it is like I've never heard anything about the gameplay or the graphics or any of that. It's always been the dialogue. <laughs> and about how the dialogue is just terrible. But we'll be finding out for ourselves. Because I've never... I, I, that's only been, like, third hand, basically. Um, I, I tend to not really... I don't care about spoilers or whatever, but... Um, with stuff like that, I just want to make my own opinion. The game looks fun, and... I primarily care about fun over other things. <laughs> I have played some games with some pretty fucking terrible stories that were pretty good um made by square enix even <laughs> what shake um as a b-movie fan you're okay with piddly dial yeah i mean yeah i i spent a lot of of my time and my life watching um mystery science theater 3000 and rift tracks so <laughs> i am well acquainted with uh bad movies <laughs> Hi, Hodor. Hello. And bad, and bad dialogue and all that stuff. So, you know, I, I'm okay with it. As long as the game is fun. I don't really care. Yeah. Alright, where did these electric enemies get off to? I thought there was one over here, but maybe not. So for this this quest, I had to um, dissipate the, the the electricity and then fight the enemies that spawned, and I failed to uh, fight those enemies. Well, we're here. Stabilize. You're tired. It's been a long few days. I feel that. I feel that. Today, today has been a long week for me. <laughs> um, so I, I feel that. Okay, cool. I, 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 I went too long. Now I have to redissipate them. <laughs> shit. It's okay though. Hi, Hodor. Yes. Hello. The old pastor's wife passed this week, so we had the viewing and the fruit. Man, Tim, I feel so bad for you. <laughs> I think this is at least the second funeral you've you've had to talk about in the in the last month. I'm sorry that happened again. Right now we have the last okay the last one's down at the bottom which this one should 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 spawn those enemies maybe we'll find out also we can change away from this lantern thing where's it at there it is bam okay Yeah, like Zena said, I'm I'm sorry you're having to deal with that again. Well, where is it? 
Okay, that time it just completed it. Oh, okay. Um, next next quest then. I don't. There we are. I don't recall this quest. Okay, so I, oh, the, okay, this one. Yeah, I, I know this one. These ones, they're just annoying. They're not hard or anything. They're just annoying. You have to grab the supplies without being seen, basically. Uh, it's just remembering where they're at. They're always in the same spot, I, I, I think. If I recall. Dang it. Let's get down to business. Here's it gonna count. Is it gonna count since I have him? Will it count? It did. Look at that. Nice. All right. Let's figure out where I need to go for these uh, <clears throat> things I want to uh, farm for. I do not recall. Where they be? Nope. Nope. Oh gosh, come on. Nope. Man, I feel like... It's, it has to be one of these. Where where is it? I think this is it. Um, just double check, double triple check. Yeah, here we go. Okay, this is the dungeon we want to be at. Let's see. She was given a prognosis of like six months over two years ago, so she was doing better than anticipated. Um, well. You know, two years out of six months, that's, that's a good, uh, that's a good run of it. I don't know if that's the best way to put that, but you know, turning, turning six months into two years is, is good. A lot, a lot more time, you know, to spend with them and all that. All right, we're going to try to blast through these pretty quickly and uh, switch on over to Tactics Ogre. I vaguely remember this one. It's going to come back to me when they all spawn. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, look at that. Okay, this one's going to be quick. <laughs> We're looking for things that do elemental mastery and elemental like recharge, recharge and that kind of thing. Pretty much the same old, same old. I'm at the age now that surprises are few and far between. Thank you for asking. Energy recharge. Oh, that one. This one's actually pretty decent. If I'm, if this one is HP by default, I don't remember, 
which ones are which at the moment. But... Because I'm looking for the main set up top to be energy uh, mastery. But having an HP with attack, crit, and energy recharge, that's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright, let's, let's keep doing it. Look at that. He he lived through it. Those assassins are actually pretty pretty good enemies. Decent. Difficult. That's the word. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah, um <laughs> I I'm I, I'm kind of in a uh uh, mood myself, I suppose. I, uh, so, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm trying to do good, too. Do well, I should say, I guess. <clears throat> um... Work was kind of uh, shitty for me today, so it really, really put my mood down for the probably the week, probably the whole week, I think. You did find out that an old band that you followed in the 80s is still around and kicking, so you found that kind of neat. Hey, that's cool. Did, did they did they keep making albums, or did they get pretty slow about it? Uh, my, my favorite artist, uh, the Mountain Goats, they started in 94 and have released basically uh, an album every year. Um, not to be a poo poo about it. I know the state you live in irritates you from a distance. So hopefully those shouldn't, I don't, if there's something going on politically in Texas right now, I, I am tremendously disconnected. <laughs> I used to follow politics and all that stuff very closely. And I, I had to stop. Um, I had to stop. It was ruining my life. <laughs> Just how mad I was at things all the time. So if there's something going on, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm very ignorant to it at the moment. So your day was no bueno. He's still better. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> that one might do. That one might work. But yeah, no, if, if something is going on in Texas, that's not what uh, came up to it. I uh, just, uh, um, I fucked up at work today. Um, so I, I, I do, um, I do repairs on like electronics. So like cell phones, tablets, game consoles, that sort of thing. And um, a screw somehow managed to find its way into a, uh, a phone I was repairing. And it damaged a... Uh, $350 screen like 30 minutes before um, we left left work for the day and uh, my boss is kind of he, he, he's really good he's really nice and really decent about a lot of things but when you fuck up it's like you, you, you don't hear the end of it it's every single angle that he can bitch and complain about it and how it's like how you fucked up you fucking hear it like oh how many hours did you work on that oh um how much is the screen going to cost? How, how much is the profit loss on that? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh yes, I get it. I fucked up, dude. I get it. 
<laughs> Jesus. At least it was just the screen and not the whole ass fucking phone. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, sorry, that's my rant. That's my rant. No new albums uh, that you know of recently, but to see them still rocking and entertain crowds is really kind of a tickle kick. Yeah, that's, that's always fun to see. Like, um... Uh, the only one that comes to, like, mind immediately was, um... Eiffel 65. You know, they were just... They, they were a thing for a little bit because, uh, I'm blue, dubba dee, dubba die. But, um, I found out not... Oh... A while ago that they have a ton of albums, like five albums. And, um, <laughs> the only reason people don't know about it, other than the fact that they were, they were legitimately a one hit wonder. Um, even though there's actually better songs on that album than Blue, but, um, they have like, yeah, they have like five or six albums, but, um, four of them are in Italian. So that's why people don't know about them. <laughs> Yeesh, you accidentally smashed the screen at your workplace years ago due to negligence. The repair bill was in a thousand, oh. Oh, uh, jeez. No, no, no. It, it's not It's not anything that, like, I'm going to... I would be written up or fired about or anything. I, and besides, it's literally just me and him at that job. Um, and it's it's a local business. Um, so, the re... I, I mean, I understand why he gets upset... Gets that way. Uh, it's because, you know... It's his business. So, any kind of, like, mistake or error, that is 100%, you know, directly affecting him and the profits and stuff. But... You know, in this kind of business, you you have to plan for the fact that, hey, you're going to make mistakes, you know, and that's just part that'll be part of your bottom line is factoring in mistakes. But it's it's the kind of thing where um, when I make a mistake, when I make a mistake, I fucked up. And when he makes a mistake, it was a legitimate mistake. So that's that's the thing. Um, he'll be over it in a day or two and it won't be anything but yeah it uh, just just having to go through the whole laundry list of what hey this is how much you you cost me in labor this is how much you cost me in parts this is how much we're going to lose out because uh, what they're paying for the original repair isn't going to cover the screen repair I it's it, I I I have no worry for my um, job security. It's just you know it's you fucked up. Yep, I know I fucked up. All right, leave it at that. Don't I don't need to hear it and have it all drilled into me. You know. And um, <laughs> I could bring up the fact that um, my last uh, four, three or four. No, not my last three, but the check, the two, three, let, here, this way, three checks in February um, were delivered late because he didn't do his job. He, he didn't file my payment, my uh, payroll on time. So um, his payment servicer wasn't able to pay me on time. Uh, I didn't make a fuss about it. <laughs> I didn't make a fuss about it. I mean, I was fucking pissed. Um, luckily, I get paid weekly, so miss it, uh, so um, a paycheck being a couple days late isn't a big deal. But three paychecks in a row? Like, come on. Come on, dude. That, that really kind of starts fucking with me. <laughs> One paycheck is fine. Three of them? Come on. That's a big fuck up, too. But hey. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to come here to rant. Anyway, let me catch back up on chat here. Yeah, when it happened, you were, um, it was one of those old gorilla touchscreens, so when it cracked, it was a crack followed by a tinkle tinkle sound, and I remember thinking to myself, well, I just lost this job, back to flipping burgers. Supervisor you have is amazing and hasn't brought it up since, the yeah, no, that's great. That's, <laughs> that, that's good to hear, that's how it, that's how it should be, you know, it, recognize, generally, the person that fucked up recognizes they fucked up. 
and just telling them that they fucked up does not help the situation at all. <laughs> it doesn't fix the break. It's only going to discourage the other person. Um, I was a, you know, I was a shift supervisor at CVS, at various CVS for about seven years of my life. Um, and I tried really hard to never like, you know, drill into somebody when they fucked up. You know, in, in some instances, you would have to have a conversation like right after it happened or, you know, even, you know, let it cool down. Let, let it be the next day. Let it be the, the week after and say, hey, you know, the other day when this happened, you know, this, this, this was kind of a problem. And here's this, this, and this. But, you know, there's amicable ways of handling it and then there's asshole ways of doing it. And uh, my boss is an asshole when things go wrong. When things are fine, he's perfectly, he's, he's mostly delightful. And I don't, I don't hate working there, but yeah. <laughs> Your boss should be grateful they have someone who can do that job in the first place. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's not, it's not really that hard of a job. Uh, however, what I had done with that phone was actually like a full housing swap. So motherboard, charging ports, cables, everything from one frame to another, which that one, that actually is intensive. Um, one so his complaints about my labor were, were, weren't were valid because uh, the screen replacement is like five minutes. It wasn't the uh, about two hours that I spent doing the housing replacement because I hadn't done one on a 13 mini before. So I was being really slow and careful. Um, see, Madral said people beat themselves up enough already. They don't need help. Agreed with the address. Correct. move. Yeah, absolutely. It's I, I, I fucking know I fucked up because there was a big ass line in the screen. And it was an iPhone 13. Those are fucking expensive. I know. I know I fucked up. Okay. I've said like eight times. I'm sorry for ranting. So let's stop ranting. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Let's see. Silly churl, Billy churl. But anyway, anyway, yeah. I, I'm, I'm glad your day is going pretty well, Zenith. And... Uh, like I said before, Madral, I'm really sorry about, um, what's going on with you. And hopefully it doesn't, it, it doesn't get you down too much. When the sun's out hey, where are we at? Ah, not that hard of a job. You're doing a job you couldn't imagine. Heck, the mysteries of Twitch befuddle your old encephalitic brain, so you're amazing. Hey, well, thank you. Um, ooh, oh, shit. This one's actually pretty good. It's not what we're looking for, but it's it's suitable. It's suitable. Man, Twitch befuddles me every day, too. <laughs> In positive news, you posted a pic of the Scorpith Lord you're working on. You should check them out after showing I could check it out right now. We don't got a lot going on. Where are we at? Um, did you post it? Did you post it in my Discord or in um, a different one? Okay. Whoa, look at that. Ah, oh, it's a Necron. I, 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 I'm very ignorant to the Necron, so I don't quite know what this is an equivalent to. Hold on, let me, uh... Um, I would just drag it into Discord, but that, I mean, to OBS, but for some reason, uh, no. <laughs> just no. It just doesn't work when you do that. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's pop that guy on screen right quick. Looky there. Look at that Necron. You do the glow effects really well. It looks really good. Is this the... I'm sorry. Is is this is the one you're talking about? The Scorpeth Lord? It looks like a Scorpeth Lord. <laughs> like I said, uh, I, I'm kind of ignorant to the Necrons. So, um... 
in um in space marine terms is this like equivalent to like a terminator terminator i mean <laughs> i mean um um the robot boys what are they called crap um um <laughs> The, the, with, with like the the flamethrower hands christ <laughs> i am totally blanking <laughs> okay terminators okay <laughs> dreadnought dreadnought I, I meant to say dreadnought but hey i accidentally got it right <laughs> it looks really good though does it have three arms Hey, look at that. Three arms, three legs. That's pretty good, though. Yeah, the, the glow, like I said, the glow effects are really good. And the Freddy Krueger hand. Look at that. All right. Turn around. All right, let's get a few more of these in, huh? Oh, actually, we need to check something right quick. Let's, uh... All right, a weekly missions. Uh, okay. I forgot what challenge limits are. So. Uh, excuse me. I gotta get 15 of these done. Over the next couple days. I looked ahead to see if the next banner um, had been shown off, and um, I don't think I'm interested in the characters on that banner. So, we won't be pulling for probably a month. <laughs> um, I, I have certain characters that I'm going for with all my free pulls. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe sometime in April or May? We'll have like a big, like 50 pull uh, spectacular. Is there, uh, right now, I have like 30 free pulls, I think. I have a lot. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, 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 okay. Gotcha, gonna gotcha. Well, it's, it's like, I, I pretty much have the characters I want. Like, my party is actually, is a really good party. Um, I've just missed, um, so e each nation has its sort of god, their archon. And, um, so, like, uh, my party member Zhongli is the, uh, the Geo Archon, the god of Liyue. And, um, I have the god of Mondstadt, uh, Venti. And I have the god of Inazuma, uh, Raiden. Uh, but because I had taken a, hi a hiatus, I never got the Dendro Archon for um, Sumeru. So I'd really like to get her. Um, if Venti or um, a few others show up on the banner too, I'll definitely go after them. But, again, it's, it, I, I have so many free pulls, it's going to be crazy. Um, the game is, is, the game is very generous uh, in giving you free pulls. Um, so. <laughs> Despite the fact that it is the most profitable gotcha game, um, I never really feel that compelled to be like, hey, I have to pull today. 
I have to pull on this unit. I have to spend money on this unit. It's, it's more of a, hey, I want to, which is good. It's good. And the game's other merits, um, like, like the vast exploration, uh, world exploration and stuff, really give it a lot of points for that. If the game did not have um, the kind of exploring, exploration, exploration it does into the game world, um, I never would have gotten into it as much as I have. But that, 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 that's getting back into the conversation we were having yesterday um, with Zenith about why I, I like this game. Uh, a lot of people compare the, the, this game's world to Breath of the Wild for how big and how how much there is to find and see. This is order. Rain cutter. Rain outlines your fate. Now, to be fair, I haven't really played too many gotcha games. Uh, I was pretty heavily into uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius for a while. Um... But it, it just kept getting too many too many new units that were meta and basically required that I fell off of it. And that game also doesn't have like an open world, you know? It's just literally fights and that's it. Um, I tried um, the Final Fantasy Tactics uh, gotcha game for, for like a day and fell off of it. Same with... Um, um, what was the other one? Uh, there was a Fire Emblem one I didn't care much for. So, yeah. Oh, did I run out of... Nope, nope, we have one more pull. Opera Omnia. Ah, that's, that's one I've wanted to try and play. But I basically know nothing about it. Um, it, it. It seems like it has some pretty good music from theater of them, but <laughs> otherwise, yeah, I, I know basically nothing about it. All right, that will be our uh, last dungeon run for the day. We'll go turn in all of our dailies right quick and then switch on over to Tactics Ogre. Oh crap. So Sucrose, the package you mentioned that you received. There was story time here, I didn't realize. It's not dangerous, is it? You need to be careful when you're opening packages. I once had a friend mail me some research materials, and all the bouncing around in transit caused a reaction. Once I opened it, oh, it let out a stench that could wake the dead. If your package contains anything like that, then maybe you should check with Albedo first and see what he thinks. No, this package didn't contain any hazardous materials. Give me just a second. I, I just realized that I, I edited something incorrectly. Um, let me save that there. Yes. Okay. Okay, we're good. Tomatoes, so gross. What are you two chatting about? Oh, hey, you two. Uh, we're just talking about a strange package that Sucrose received recently. A strange package. There is a there's a month long event going on right now, which I think this is related to. Yes, 
I believe it's from a Sumero scholar who came here to study in Mondstadt. It's most likely a thank you gift for collaborating on some research together. Huh? A package from an academia scholar? Oh, then there could be anything inside. There wasn't anything dangerous inside. Just a bunch of strange cards. Oh, hey. I think the card game that they introduced. Similar looking cards before. So I came to ask him about what they might be. Uh, you've you've seen me with some cards? <laughs> Maybe those were the testing cards used for distinguishing reagents. No, they didn't look like test cards. Here, have a look. Cute. Oh, you meant these? Huh. Sucrose, have you really never seen these before? No, never. Recently, I've been spending all my time up in the mountains working on cultivating pentatonic sweet flowers. <laughs> you could definitely say that it's trending, but not as an area of research. It's a card game that's been getting really popular these days. Okay, my, my stream deck still isn't... Here we go, okay. Things should be working properly now. Ste uh, uh, Steam Deck, uh, or Stream Deck updated earlier and it kind of broke something, but I just fixed it. Um. It's called Genius Invocation TCG. Genius Invocation TCG! Yeah, we've been hearing about this game all over the place, but this is the first time we've ever actually seen any of the cards. We didn't know it had made it all the way to Mondstadt. Must be pretty popular, huh? That's <laughs> right. The game's been catching on lately. The Yae Publishing House and Inazuma has even published a series of light novels based on the game. The story <laughs> is really good. It starts with a young guy in Sumeru who finds an ancient casket of tomes in Sumeru. the Sumeru. He opens it and discovers that the soul of an ancient TCG player called the Crocodile King has been captured inside. <laughs> it turns this out is Yu-Yu. The Crocodile King was King Deshret's viceroy who battled an opponent named the Ibis King. During the match, the Crocodile King fell prey to his opponent's scheme and was sealed away in the casket of tomes. After being unexpectedly released by the kid, the Crocodile King possesses him and helps him to gradually climb the ranks. Yeah, yeah that, that's become just Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, Timaeus. Huh? What's wrong, Sucrose? Uh, oh, if you're interested in how the story plays out, I can lend you the novel. Yo, dog, I heard you like gotcha, no. so we added a gotcha to your gotcha, so I you gotcha while you gotcha. I was thinking about that time <laughs> you requested an extension on your progress report deadline, citing personal reasons for the delay <clears throat> well uh, I did go through a phase recently where I wasn't putting enough focus on my work but it's under control now I've committed to not even touch genius invocation TCG until I've made enough progress in my research <sighs> well that's unfortunate <laughs> I gotcha I gotcha Why is that? well since it's a gift from a researcher I've collaborated with I thought that I should at least try to learn the rules. That way, I could say that I at least tried to appreciate his gift. Oh, right! And since it's a game from Sumeru, who knows? Playing it might even make you smarter. Okay, fine. Paimon's curious and would like to give it a try. Although, it seems like we can't I know basically nothing about this card game it. other than it exists. Sumeru's has given up for a while. <laughs> Well, research is my priority, you know. But if you'd like to learn the rules of Genius Invocation TCG, then I'd actually suggest you go to the Cat's Tail. Yep, that's the place. It's where everyone in the community goes to play when they have time. They gather there, trade cards, and they're very welcoming to new players. Trying to learn the rules can be intimidating at first, but it's a lot of fun once you get the hang of it. Understood. Traveler? Paimon, let's go to the cat's tail and try asking around. To be honest, hearing Timaeus talking about the game has also piqued my curiosity. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get going! Let's get going! You get this feeling it's a commercial in your game. <laughs> right? TCG! 
TCG. Um, shit, I totally forgot about the card game. Um, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll play like the tutorial for it and then head on over to uh, Tactics Ogre. Add Astra. <laughs> Plus 15 pretentious points. <laughs> Thank you for completing to Add Astra. He's done. Boop, boop. Boop. All right, let's check it out here. Got that done. Got that done. All right, we got all those dailies done. Forge 20 items. Okay, we can do that right quick. We can do that right quick. Um. Those will be done soon. We gotta go cook, uh, cook 20 items. Get some of my, some of the easier, immediate, like, weekly things to do, done. Auto cook, 20 of these. Look at that, leveled up. I don't think that I'm going to be able to hit, uh... What is it? Level 50? Yeah, level 50. Um, in 27 days, but we can try. We can try. Alright, what else do we got going on? Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. I got a lot of stuff today. <laughs> Look at that. All right. Uh, anything else? Achievements. Oh, a lot of these. Wow. All right. Nope. 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 I'll have some more achievements. Where were they? Oh, here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> We're gonna have a bunch of bunch of primos. Look at that. All right, let's uh <clears throat> What is still That's what it was. All right, let's, let's check out this card game. You know, I, I really enjoyed the card games in uh, Final Fantasy IX. More, more so than Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, I played a bunch. So Final Fantasy XI also had Tetra Master. Um, I played it a lot. <laughs> played it a lot. Welcome to the cat's Not as much. I mean, I, I, I didn't play... Um, the Traveler and Paimon. What a nice surprise. I didn't play... Um, Triple Triad very much in Final Fantasy 14, but uh, <laughs> Tetra Master in 11. Oh God, I played that enough that I was actually like top 100 on the worldwide leaderboard. I was very, I was very good at that game. Oh, and Sucrose the Alchemist. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> I'm afraid I've already told you before. Fur from the Cat's Tail staff is not for sale. No matter how much Mora you offer. <laughs> Don't worry, Margaret. We're not here for that research project I told you about last time. Uh, Sucrose, what kind of experiment were you trying to do with the cat's tail? Uh, oh, I just wanted to test out some hypotheses, and I needed some materials. But, uh, we can talk about that later. 
Actually, Margaret, we're here to learn more about Genius Invocation TCG. <laughs> ah, Genius Invocation TCG. We were just talking about that game. You see, more and more people have been gathering at the Cat's Tail to play. So I thought, why not have a dedicated staff to serve the new customers? Magic the Gathering copyright. Speaking of which, I believe... I love playing met. Magic the Gathering copyright. Met who? You know, Prince. This is the Cat's Tail after all. So I thought having a cat take care of our new customers... On my battle mat registered nice trademark. <laughs> ah, allow me to interpret. <clears throat> Prince says that the word customer is much too loose of a term, and we should instead refer to anyone who loves dueling with cards as TCG players. Hmm, <laughs> my mistake. So it seems I haven't introduced you yet. This is Prince and Shuyin. They will be in charge of taking care of our TCG players. Ah, I'm afraid I must correct you there, ma'am. Only Prince, the strongest and most formidable TCG player of all, is capable of providing valuable guidance to our new players. The average player is incapable of grasping the subtlety and sheer genius behind Prince's every play, and he has no choice but to rely on me to communicate with everyone. I am merely Prince's lowly assistant, that's all. Wow! Another guy you can understand I like that guy. <laughs> How can you use such a crude word as animal to describe the one and only prince? He is special and the only one of his kind. Such a remark is an insult to prince. Meow. Meow. Oh? What's Meow. That? Meow. In the eyes of the common folk, I'm <laughs> <more laughs> Hodor talking to any other ordinary cat. It's a natural mistake to make and you shouldn't overreact. Ah, understood. I do apologize. Hmm. It seems he really is capable of communicating with the cat. Could He's this making be the it result up. result of some modification to the language center of his brain? Seriously, how can he get all of that from a simple meow? Yes, it was the sacred duels of genius invocation, TCG, that <laughs> formed and cemented <laughs> our bonds of mutual understanding. It's my firm belief that by simply playing the game, players can develop a deeper level of understanding between one another. So, playing Genius Invocation TCG fosters some sort of a telepathic link between players? Hmm, somehow Pylon doubts that. Uh-huh. Anyway, if you'd like to know anything about Genius Invocation TCG, then please ask Shuyin. Uh, who will ask Prince? Though I'd love to explain more myself, it's time for my daily walk. I'll let Prince play a game with you and walk you through all the rules. Just as a seasoned warrior can foresee the path of his opponent's sword, so too can I, as a TCG master, predict my opponent's every play. It would be improper to pit a newcomer to the art of the card against one such as myself. And I must therefore politely decline. <clears throat> That's what Prince said. Oh, Prince doesn't want to play with us, huh? Fine, then Prince doesn't have to. We'll play you instead. I'm sorry, but from the day I met the mighty card master Prince, I swore an oath that my hands would live solely to hold the cards and not to play them. I will never play <sighs> a match of my own again. If Prince is unwilling to play, then I guess we should look for an alternative. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. What is it? I'm pretty busy. Yeah, that's how I feel right now. now. <laughs> Thank you, Diana. Huh. Why is it that every player that sets foot in here to play Genius Invocation TCG has to have a drink? Ugh! Don't they have any clue that the key to playing a game is the ability to think straight? Seriously, games and drinks don't mix! Don't they get that? Ugh. What can I say? As the tavern owner, I can't help but feel happy to hear this. Anyway, I see you've been working hard, so I thought you could use a break. So, why not come over here and teach these customers the rules of genius invocation? Oh my, what? Whoa! Yeah, what Whoa. kind of break is that? They, they, they didn't say TCG. <laughs> what, the one time? <laughs> they, they actually didn't say it. Just the genius invocation. 
Uh, take care, Pahi and Zenith and chat. Have fun with Genius and Go Invocation TCG, and good luck winning your game of Genius Invocation TCG. Let's. I I, I hope I enjoy uh, Genius Invocation TCG, but we'll have to we'll have to see if this dialogue will ever end. If it will ever end. But yeah, have a have a good night. Thank you for dropping by. And well, we'll see you next time. Letting all these loafers come in here to play Genius Invocation TCG anyway. All it does is encourage more people to come to the bar for a drink. Uh, you know, if drink sales keep going up like this, pretty soon Mondstadt's alcohol industry is going to reach new heights. <sighs> Looks like my first step in destroying Mondstadt's alcohol industry should be stamping out the spread of Genius Invocation TCG. My dear, you are quite mistaken. You said it yourself, a clear mind is necessary to win. Soon, their thirst for victory will overcome their thirst for alcohol. Prince speaks the truth, Diona. Not only is the spread of Genius Invocation TCG no obstacle to your goal of destroying Mondstadt's alcohol industry, it could even support you in this endeavor. C could it really? Sure, why not? Alrighty then, our two customers are waiting to learn. Shuyan, let's put you on drink mixing duty for now. But Shuyan is destined for a far greater purpose. Shuyan, drink mixing, now. Oh, uh, okay. Ooh, alright! We'll need some space to learn! <laughs> let's go to that empty table over there. Oh my god, I could actually move my character for the last... Last 10 minutes? Jesus. <laughs> okay, let's go through the rules. First things first. You'll be needing your deck, so place that... Uh, deck? Uh, yes. You should have built a deck. You know, a set of cards that meets the bare minimum requirement to play the game. Uh, what's with the blank stairs? Come on! Don't tell me you came to learn Genius Invocation TCG without bringing any cards! That's right! We have some cards that I received from a friend. Uh, yeah. You're gonna need a few more cards than that. Okay, let me think. Huh. <sighs> To learn the game, you'll need at least two character cards to switch between. Oh! Oh, that reminds me! A few days ago, when I was closing up for the night, I noticed a customer had left a couple of character cards on the bar counter! <laughs> Maybe you could use those for now! Are you sure that's okay? Eh, it's already been a few days and he still hasn't come back to claim them! Who knows? Maybe he left them here on purpose! Oh, okay, yeah, I got them here with me. Y you know, just in case the customer came looking for them. Yeah, <laughs> not because I like to play the game or anything. <laughs> Please. All right, so now we have two character cards. That's everything we need, right? Yep. So, are you ready to start? All right, then let's begin. That took way that took way too long to get going. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the world of Genius Invocation TCG. Simply put, this is a game where you control character cards to duke it out with your opponent. Once you've defeated all of your opponent's character cards, now then, you're gonna need a Let's go. First. We roll eight elemental dice at the start of every round. Okay. These dice correspond to elemental energy. Oh, we'll eight-sided eight die base. Die That's a little different. Actions. I would have expected like six or ten, but eight, eight, eight's fun. Which, I mean, that makes sense because there's, uh, there is eight elements, I believe. So, yeah. Or seven elements? I don't recall at the moment. Over, 
You'll enter the action phase where the real they're, they're, game they're, starts. They're, listen, what what elements are there? There's fire, water, air, earth, electricity, uh, dendro, which is which is like nature and um. This, what is the seventh? Fire, air, water, earth, electricity, dendro, and ice. Ice. Ice is the other one. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Seven. And then the eighth one is like a like catch-all element, maybe. During the action phase, you can spend elemental dice to perform various actions. Of course, the most common action is to use character skills. <laughs> Searing Onslaught can deal three pyro damage. For the third use of the skill each round, deals plus two damage. Okay. Huh. Not bad. You just made your first attack. During the action phase, both sides will take turns making their moves. After you use a skill to attack your opponent, it's their turn to attack. And as you can see, once the enemy finishes their move, it's our turn again. Do it again, huh? Awesome. Now, these are Omni Element dice. They can be spent on any move regardless of the element. So, we're going to use them. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. All right. Was pretty good. That's one opponent down for the count. But <laughs> bam! But the game has only just begun. Remember? Hmm. As much as we'd like to attack. Huh. After you end round, you won't be able to do anything else this how, round. How could I possibly use that ability three times in a round then? If it costs three, but we only get eight rolls. Maybe there's abilities later that let me, like, uh, keep dice? I don't know. And once everyone chooses end round, we can move on to the... And a fresh new round means time to roll the dice again. Look at that. Ooh, that's some terrible luck. Well, there's no way we'll be able to use... But don't worry. Situations like these are why we have the option. Once per round, you can select all the dice that you don't like. Oh, nice. And re-roll. I can just re-roll the whole set. I really wanted to. Nice. When the action phase begins, the player who first chose end round in the previous round takes their turn first. This means that since you finished first the last round, you'll be the first to start this round. Alrighty then, let's learn a little bit about energy and elemental bursts. Each time you use a skill, your character will gain one energy. Okay, okay. Once Diluc's energy is full, he can use a powerful elemental burst. But never mind. Let's. <clears throat> All right. So there's the standard attack Diluc's here. Ooh. Attack okay. So that can use. Pyro die and two other dice of any type. Nice. In any case, you're normal. All right. Let's use that. So you, you, you're you're not entirely locked to only using their element. Then that's good. That could really limit you later on. <laughs> now we have
have three energy plus we have enough pyro elemental dice left over it's time to use your powerful elemental burst okay deals eight pyro damage this character gains pyro infusion the character to which this is attached has their physical damage dealt converted to pyro damage. Nice. You skill. Alright, I think I'm gonna... I think I might actually really enjoy this game if I really get into it. Um... An actual game of genius invocation TCG. <laughs> Next up, it's all right. Oh, it seems like any move by Kai is going to cost quite a lot. Wonder why it won't let me reroll that fire. Ugh. Do a quick cheeky little fire or fire. Um, when you deal cryo damage, cryo you'll attack. cause your target to be affected by cryo. Freeze. Good. Now our opponent is affected by cryo. This is a good time to learn about elemental react. Different types of elemental damage affect enemies with different elements. When a character is affected by certain elemental combos, an elemental reaction. At the moment, your opponent is affected by cryo, so we should try and use a pyro skill on them. Looks like we have to sw Oh, that reminds me. Both sides must have one active character. Ugh, excuse me. Active character will be in a more forward position. Finally, yeah. we, now, if we want to use the skills of our standby character, we'll have to switch them. In this case, we'll have to switch to. All right. Well, OK. For some reason, I felt like during a round, you could only use the one character at a time. You could spend one elemental die of any kind to switch. Oh, OK, you have to use up a die, but you can swap. Nice. Let's finish this swiftly. So they do make you like pay for it if you try to do that. Just like using a skill. So once it's done, it's your opponent. Most skills can only target the active character. All right then. Now that Dilu. Nice. I, I think I'm, yeah, I think I'm going to really like this when I'm able to just play. Triggers the melt elemental react when triggered. Melt increases death. This will allow you to deal loads of damage in one go. <laughs> Genius invocations elemental react. Nice. <laughs> Next up, let's learn how to use card types other than character cards. These cards are all known as action cards. Each time a match starts, you have to draw five action cards to form your starting hand. Uh-oh. Looks like we don't have any elemental dice we can spend to make... Still none. <laughs> still didn't have any. Seriously? We still don't have any usable dice even after that oh. reroll? Well, huh, never mind. Even in cases like this, we can still attack. <laughs> we just need to put the action cards in our hand to good use. Don't underestimate action cards. They can grant all kinds of support and buffs to your active character. Take this one, for example. <laughs> I 
All right, um, so... So playing this action card will require two of these. Uh, see the symbol? Yeah, that means you'll need to yep, play yep. elemental dice of the same type. Okay, so I, I got two, I got two wind, I got two earth up there. They'll let me play this, uh, the sword then. Oh, but there's a Paimon. Let me play the Paimon. Some other cards will cost you these instead. The cost requirements for these are much more lenient. We'll cross that bridge when we get... All right, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. Play that card. So, playing an action card from your hand is a form of fast action. Fast actions do not end your current turn. Simply put, you can continue to act even after playing an action card. Well then, <laughs> you have your blade. Time to test it out. But wait, D Luke's elemental skill costs three pyro dice, and right now, we don't even have one. Well, not a problem. This is where we can use a more advanced mechanic known as okay, elemental okay, teaming. Okay. By discarding one card from your hand, you can convert one elemental die into the element of your okay. current active. Nice. <clears throat> Sometimes you won't be able to perform any actions you want to because you didn't roll the elemental dice you wanted. Oh well. Moving on. Ingenious invocation TCG. Keeping up a constant flow of combat is much more important than the number of cards you have. Understandable. Case, well, <laughs> let's just take all these useless cards and you just like playing cards from your hand. Come on, hurry up! All right, okay. Well, 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 would you look at that? Finally, we now have enough elemental Convert dice. the elemental dice spent. Awesome. See, on Ooh, by two. Nice. That's interesting. Okay, let's do an attack, huh? Because you have the white iron great sword equipped, searing onslaught will deal one extra damage. One what? whole extra damage. Wow, that was conveniently enough to finish the tutorial. Crazy how that works. Oh, food! The final part. I love the art on that last card. Match, you can make adjustments to your initial hand. At this time, we can select any number of cards in our hand to shuffle back into the draw pile, and then draw. Oh, again. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Once you have confirmed any adjustments you wish to make to your starting hand, both players have to select their starting active character at the same time. Oh boy, this one's a real doozy. We gotta take it out pronto. Let's see how you do this time. Remember, Start by selecting your initial starting character. Ready when you are. All right. Let's get Kaea out there. Two water, two fire. Nice, nice, nice. opponent's actions i mean that is to say check it out so here's where you can see all your opponent's intentions for this round physical attack that's going to do two damage all your opponent's intent reference this to come up with effective well then that's the end of the i don't um Okay, that, that, that just tells me about the monster. It doesn't necessarily tell me about what they have in their hand. So, okay, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh, the same two. Ah, oh, crap. Um...
one. Ooh, um, I kind of screwed up, didn't I? Yep. Oh well. Well, well, it's okay. It's okay. I could have used that though. I should have paid attention to all my stuff here. I. Okay, come on. Okay. That costs two, so we won't do that. It insufficient. I, I have I have enough. I can use those for that attack. Um, okay, well. Never mind. At least I thought I did. I thought I could, but I guess not. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> There's one more thing I almost forgot. Maybe, maybe it's a tutorial thing that it won't let me do it? I don't know. Every time you hit an end phase, you get to draw two cards from your action cards pile. Remember, you have to make use of both your elemental dice and your action cards. All right. Let's get some good dice this time, huh? Or not. <laughs> Okay, two ice. Uh, that's, oh, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Oh gosh. Let's see. I'm not paying more. What? Oh, okay. I was <laughs> I was just matching X. That's why it wasn't working. Um. This moment will be frozen in time. All right, we need to switch character. So we're gonna pay a die. And Let's finish this. Keep unselecting on accident. <clears throat> All right, so I have to end my round because I will not have enough to attack with. All right, all right. I'm just gonna kind of really overdo it on this one, I think. Can I get three fire? Can I get three fire? Nope. Nope. But I have an Omni element, so we'll see if it actually works this time. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna. It looks like it's gonna work. But, um, no, there we go. Uh, okay, so, okay, okay. It's just, <laughs> sometimes the select, the button used to select things in this game is just so different from other games. I don't, it's, it's weird. In any case, do a bunch of damage, huh? All right, got it. A little bit more story. 
and then we'll take a tiny little break and um uh get into tactics ogre for a little bit I'm probably not gonna do too too much uh i didn't really intend to play genshin this long um so we'll probably only do like maybe one map or two in tactics ogre It's literally just, I, I just did all this. I know. All right, cool. Those are the basics. Did you get all that? What we just played was an adventure challenge designed specially for new players. Genius Invocation TCG can be played in dual mode, where each player uh. has three character cards, or in adventure challenge mode, with a fixed deck for each challenge. But the rules are all the same. As long as you understand the basics, then you should be able to take- Although I feel there are still many details to grasp, I think I understand the basic premise of the game now. That was quite the detailed explanation. Hey, it's the Luke. I didn't know the Look Cat's Tale's famous mixologist had such an eclectic skill set. What? What? Oh, when did you get here? I stepped in while you were in the middle of your explanation. I hope I didn't dampen the mood. Anyway, what are you doing here? The Cat's Tale is a player in Mondstadt's alcohol industry. Naturally, you have some collaboration with my winery. I'm here today to discuss a few items of business with Margaret. Hmm, too bad she just left. But if you head off right now, you might still catch up with her. Never mind, it's nothing urgent. In fact, I think I'm now more interested in this card that you're using to teach them the game. Because <laughs> it is D Luke. It's D Luke's character card. <laughs> it's funny that they I worked it into the story. Experience with Genius Invocation TCG. Seeing this particular card is a first for me. Uh, a customer left it behind a few days ago, but he wasn't even playing the game while he was here. Oh, and what sort of a customer was he? Uh, he wasn't wearing an eye patch, okay? He had a light complexion and a super serious look on his face. He wasn't much of a Kaya. talker and looked like he was just <laughs> drinking his worries away. He never seen him around here before. Hmm. Eye patch. Gah, I was trying to give the opposite description, but I just ended up giving it away. Sorry, guard captain. Don't worry. Somehow, I don't think he'll be giving you any trouble over it. So, what about the Dilu character? I don't mind. It's just a card with my image on it. I didn't expect Dilu to be familiar with Genius Invocation. The game has been catching on lately. It's hard to go anywhere without hearing it mentioned. Every now and I was hoping we could play a game, but this issue of someone leaving a character card... It's getting late, and someone has some explaining to do. Good. Then I'll take my leave. You know where the door is. Don't let the door hit you where Lord Barbado split you. Uh-oh. Well, what? Guard captain. I hope Kaya will be all right. Well, now that we are familiar with the rules. Ooh, two new players have in the butt. In order to play an official d Remember, a complete deck has to have three character cards and 30 action cards. Got it? Then, let's use my cards. These were mixed in with all the others I had received. And I didn't know what they were for at first. But now that we've learned the rules, I can see that this one must be the Sucrose character card. Now, it looks like we each have the Kaya... <coughs> Luke, we'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll do that later. <laughs> we'll do that later. 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 Uh, <laughs> I've kind of gotten really bored, so we need to, we need to switch over. Um, let me take my break right quick, and we'll do just that, huh? All right, throwing up some charge men Ken for a little bit. See you soon.
三角形の面積は底辺かける高さ割る二。ね今日も行くだろうもっちよあんな楽しくっておいしいものほかにないんだものそうだよ勉強なんかバカバカしくてできないよなよし決まりだ急ごう楽しくっておいしいものなんだろうおやわあ<笑>来たぞうんあバスに乗る見たことのないバスだじゃないか。寄り道はいかんぞ。違うんだ。違うんだよ、パパ。あのバスを追って。本当美味しいんだから。ムキエなんだ。美味しいんだ。パパ、もっとスピード上げてください。これじゃ見失ってしまう。よし。しかしどこまで行くんだろう。ずいぶん遠くまで来たぞ。かわいい子供たちん気のせいかしらどこへ行くんだろうケン何か嫌な予感がするなやっぱり来てよかった車の中で待っててくださいいなさあ食べなさいとってもおいしいわよ。遊びに来たんだねいや、君たちは騙されてるんだよえ何言ってるの私たちの邪魔しないでよ見てごらんストレスなんだありゃおかしなんかじゃないんだようん、よくも見破ってくれたわねチャージマン犬<笑>やはりジュラル星人お前たちの仕業か子供たちに毒キノコを食べさせみんな勉強しない怠け者にしてやろうとしたのにくそそれ剣どうもありがとう僕たちはジュラル星人に魔法をかけられて毒キノコを食べていたんだねこれからはちゃんと勉強するぞ私も俺も私たちの住んでいる地球のずっと大昔には恐竜や爬虫類がたくさん生存しておりましたみんな真面目に勉強している泉くんおはいよそ見なんかしないで真面目に勉強しなさいはい先生
我がジュラル星科学人が感染した物体伝送テレビでこれを使って日本の重要施設を爆破する先日の東京港の爆発に続き今日は東京第二国際空港が何者かによって爆破されましたジュラル星人の仕業だジュラル星人そうさ東京第二国際空港には自動警備装置があり絶対危険物は持ち込めないようになってるんだよこの事件はジュラル星人以外には考えられないんだよ本当でもそんなとこへどうやって侵入したんだろう早く敵の爆破方法を探り出さないと今に日本の交通施設は全滅だ<音楽>この空港ビルの発着タワーは世界一なんだぜ。してみよう。はい。よし、百一号、作戦開始しよう。あは。行け、行って空港ビルをことごとく破壊するのだ、ブラック。思った通りだジュラル星人はきっと電装マシンをカセットしたロボットを送り込んで重要な港湾施設や空港を爆破していたんだあの電装マシンを使えばジュラル星人の電装基地へ行けるはずだでもそんなこと危険よいやいややめなよケンどんな危険なことだろうとやらなきゃならないんだよこれが電装スイッチだお兄ちゃん行かない心配しないでキャロン
ジュラル星人の本拠を叩き潰さない限り安心とは言えないよう今で必ず本拠を突き止めそして全滅してやるぞ Hey chat, sorry. Um put you on a long break like that. Uh I'm kinda just not feeling it right now. Um so I do think we're actually gonna call it for the night. Um come back tomorrow with Forspoken. Um So yeah, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry we had a short night tonight. I, I even got started early. <laughs> which is a which is a shock, isn't it? Absolute shocker. It was like 20 minutes early. <laughs> because my, my actual starting time is supposed to be 9, 9 p.m. And we usually don't get started until about 9.30. <laughs> but, um, nah, yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm just kind of in a mood. I, and the tremendous amount of tutorials I went through just also put me in another mood. Uh, I, was, I wasn't expecting or ready for tutorials today. Um, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I do think that, um, that, that card game is going to be pretty fun. So when we, when we do, um, when we do Genshin on Wednesday, we'll, we'll definitely, uh, try to play that a lot more and, uh, see if we're pretty good at it, huh? But, um, in any case, um, we're just going to end it tonight. Uh, I'm not going to do any kind of raid or anything. Um, so yeah. Thank you everybody for uh, for coming out um, again. Sorry, 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 we're cutting short and that I didn't actually get to Tactics Ogre. Uh, we might we might come back on Thursday and play it a little bit. You know, make make up some time. We we didn't play today, but um, in any case, yeah. Hope everybody has a good night and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.